Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, thank you all of the panel. Uh, you know, news reports came out this week from the Associated Press and Reuters that uh, allege that despite the regulators' assurances to us that the bank's illegal robo-signing was being fixed, the practice is still widespread, uh, that uh, it's still going on um, for both foreclosed homes and also for homes that aren't in foreclosure, which basically amounts to forging documents and in some cases wrongfully foreclosing on people, which is why I and 10 of my colleagues, including several members of this committee uh, and a dozen House members as well, have written to uh, the OCC, the Federal Reserve, and the FDIC, urging you that you make the foreclosure reviews and other foreclosure-related documents fully transparent and that you release the results uh, of those reviews on a bank-by-bank -bank basis so the public can evaluate the performance of each bank. There is a tremendous interest in the public uh, seeing these problems properly resolved. Uh, so I want to ask those three uh, agencies, the, uh, the Fed, the FDIC, and the OCC, will you release the results of the foreclosure reviews on a bank-by-bank -bank basis? Will you release the mortgage servicers' action plans that respond to problems in the consent orders? Uh, and what about the engagement letters for these supposedly quote-unquote independent consultants who are hired by the banks themselves to perform the foreclosure reviews of the banks? Uh, well, Senator, we are as concerned about these issues uh, as you are. Um, as you know, we've issued cease and desist orders. Um, we have told the banks that they have to engage independent consultants, and we've been making sure that they are independent. They'll be providing both um, uh, supplementary diagnosis over and above the work we've done, as well as um, action plans for the banks. And we will be um, both reviewing those action plans and the uh, conformity of the banks uh, to those plans. Um, our current plan uh, is to provide a report we will share with you, obviously, a public report um, that will uh, explain, uh, you know, what the findings were and what the proposals were and what the reactions were and the performance but, but by you're, the but banks. You're not, but, Mr. Chairman, I don't need to interrupt you, but I don't have less than five minutes. You're not going to uh, – I have a specific question. Are you going to release those three entities that I've asked you? May I consult further with my legal and supervisory teams and get back to you on that? Surely. How about the other two agencies? Uh, Senator, we will certainly be, as Chairman Bernanke indicates, uh, releasing more information and, and uh, the- I have a very, I, I hate to interrupt you, right. but I have a very specific question and I don't want to be played with. Are you going to release the mortgage services actions plans that respond to the consent orders? Are you going to release the foreclosure reviews on a bank-by-bank -bank basis? And are you going to release the engagement letters for the supposedly independent consultants? It's either yes or no. We will have to evaluate the, the okay. individual documents and see if there is anything that would be of a confidential supervisory nature, but certainly we will be releasing some information. Senator, uh, not to duck your question, but the FDIC actually is not the regulator of any of the servicers, so it's, it's not something within our, within our authority to make, to make that decision. Okay. Well, let me, let me just say, uh, I hope you understand, you know, I have the privilege of chairing the housing subcommittee here, and I hope you understand it is incredibly difficult uh, to uh, create public trust that the companies hired by the banks to perform the foreclosure reviews and those banks with the same companies are already doing business with those banks and may get future business. I hope you have a little uh, uh, understanding that the public trust as regulators, when you're assuring us that the problem of the banks illegally forging uh, documents to foreclose at homes uh, more easily has been fixed, when news reports allege that the problem hasn't been fixed and still widespread, I'm going to share with you the Congressional Research Service analysis that I asked for to see if you had the legal wherewithal to do this, because I figured I'd get that as an answer. And their answer, to synthesize it, is that 
our requests, the regulators have the discretion to release the results on a bank-by-bank -bank basis if they feel it is in the public interest and point out they can surely come to some middle ground when they release a report with high-level bank-by-bank results like a HAMP report uh, while still redacting loan-level information that would be confidential to banks. Uh, you know, rarely around here do we get 10 members of the Senate to focus on a specific request for information. A dozen members or, or so of uh, the, uh, the House of Representatives. Uh, I think we need a little transparency in this process. If Dodd-Franks is about anything, at the end of the day, it's about taking and creating transparency and a new era of transparency and openness. Uh, and I'm going to be like a dog on a bone on this. So I hope we get some good answers here, because uh, otherwise uh, I'm going to use every means possible, along with my colleagues, to get to the, to the, to the bottom of this. It is not acceptable. It is not acceptable to violate the law. It is not acceptable to do robo-signings. There is a clear reason why the law dictates a procedure before you take over someone's most cherished, probably their most biggest asset in their life. And that is not being pursued correctly. And the agencies that are responsible for that give us assurances that it is, and yet public reports constantly <laughs> suggest that it is not. So I'm looking forward to your responses. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.